Sweet. Not a mine. <laughs> no, like we have limits, and like if we override those limits, we get penalized just for saying what we feel. I think my school is mainly like a dictatorship. Like you listen to only one person, and that's the rules you have to follow. A lot of, a lot of teachers, they do not give you the opportunity to express yourself. Yeah, I think it should be more free speech, yeah. definitely. Well, we do have freedom of speech, like we're supposed to speak our mind. We don't get a voice, it's our education. I think we should do what we want to do with it. If we want to make a change, we got to stand up and we got to unite. And we have to be the voice of our change. We just can't wait around and wait for someone to make it for us. Well, youth films in general, I think they're a good idea. And we just need to visualize, make sure everybody else sees it. Like, oh, this is happening. This is a problem. We need to come through and, you know, make sure we solve this problem. I think that's the huge thing about media today. We can see it. We can hear it, you know, we feel it, we think it, it's like everywhere. And it's a way of uniting people. You see that you're not alone, you know, and that there is something wrong. It's not just you, you're not crazy, right? The Express, like, what's actually happening out here. If one film can affect each person the way film affects me, then it could definitely change everybody. I know that if I got the chance to say whatever I had to say during a skit or a poem or to perform in some way, like, I'd go along. Do something about it, you know? Don't just sit there and do nothing. Do something. 